So hi hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today I'll show you how to map the global forest and non-forest area using Pulsar 2. So Pulsar 2 data consists of a global forest and non-forest area. So it has a database of global forest and non-forest areas. So to uh, map the global forest and non-forest area, first we have to uh, load our Pulsar dataset into Earth Engine. So to load our data, define a variable called dataset equals to w dot image collection and use the specific code in order to access our the pulsar data set so uh, nf uh, fnf refers to uh, forest and non forest area and next we are filtering with a specific timeline that is dot filter date 2017 january 1 to 2017 december 31st so we are selecting specific timeline from 2017 from january 1 to december 31st so next is we are selecting a specific uh, data that is FNF that is uh, refers to forest and non-forest. So to select the specific uh, so to select the specific data from our Pulsar dataset, we have to specify a variable called forest and non-forest equals to the datasets dot select and referring to the dataset called NF, uh, FNF refers to forest and non-forest. And next is we have to create a visualization parameter for our layer that is to display uh, with uh, suitable color uh, palettes so to create a visualization parameter define a variable called forest non-forest vis refers to variable called forest non-forest visualization parameter shortly we are referring to vis and we're setting a minimum value of 1 and to a maximum value of 3.0 so the color palette here we are using uh, three sets of color palettes indicated here. Now let me uh, explain the color palette. So this is a site called Color Brewer where you can access individual color with a specific code for it. So for the we can for uh, this orange color you can reuse this code E six double five zero D refers to this particular color. And similarly, let me select another color. So here the pink color refers to double d one c double seven so like that we have uh, chosen three sets of color for our layer so we have three different colors so uh, for our visualization parameter so we have set our visualization parameter for our layer with the, the three different color schemes for our layer and last we have to display our layer to display our non-forest and uh, forest and non-forest area we define a called map dot add layer forest non forest refers to this particular variable this variable forest and non forest area so next is to uh, to find out we have defined our visualization parameter for our layer that is referred as forest and non forest vis visualization parameter that is defined here we set a minimum value of one and to a maximum value of three with the color scheme that is a color palette for a layer with three different colors and last output the layer name as forest slash non forest so now let me uh, run this code go to the option called run script click run script click the run script once again so now we can able to clearly be able to view that the forest and non forest areas and including water bodies so the forest areas are indicated in a green color and non-forest areas are indicated in this yellow color and water bodies are in clear, indicated in blue color. So from this map we can understand it is a global uh, a forest and non-forest area. So the forest area is indicated in a green color and non-forest area is indicated in the yellow color and the water bodies are uh, indicated in blue color. So you can view in Africa that there is a very high vegetation is observed in the central part of Africa and uh, and also in here in United States we have a very high uh, forest areas and uh, let me view here. So in Middle East we can clearly able to view that so there is a very low uh, forest areas and similar in India we have a good forest areas along uh, towards towards northeast and also in the central part of India 
and also towards the south uh, southwest we have a very good amount of vegetation that is forest areas and similarly here we have uh, this region that is china uh, we have a very good amount of uh, forest covers so in this particular data we have a uh, three sets of uh, classes that is we have our green one indicating our forest and yellow indicating the non-forest areas and also the blue indicating our water bodies so you can clearly view that this is a lake which is clearly indicated in our data that is a pulsar data so we have water bodies non-forest areas and forest areas And here we have a very good amount of vegetation in South America. So in this video I have shown you how to uh, map the global forest, non-forest uh, area and uh, water areas using Pulsar 2 data. So I have shown you how to load a, a Pulsar data into Earth Engine and select a specific uh, data from the Pulsar data that is forest and non-forest uh, data and set a visualization parameter for our layer indicating the color palettes. So three different color palettes indicating three different classes and at last to display our layer. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.